Um, maybe we should have higher standards then, you know, more strict guidelines for how to do this. I agree. And as the, uh, <clears throat> as the head honcho of this operation, I'd love to hear what ideas you have. Well, I just mean, like, you know, it seems like people are just walking all over me here. You know, oh, we show up when we want, we, we do whatever, you know. I mean, you guys get paid for this, so I expect a little more, you know, I expect a little more out of it. I mean, maybe that's on you then to, uh, you know, start keep uh, having a more firm hand about it, you know what I mean? Carry a big stick. Paid? In for, in for, you know, you get kicked down further on the priority list I know you have if you're late. <laughs> oh, yeah, can you, Daniel, can you uh, screen share the Excel spreadsheet you have of, like, most desirable guests on the show? <laughs> This is the experience podcast with me and someone else. And someone else. I'm the last someone else. There's no someone else. How, how are we doing someone else? Uh, I am certainly, uh, I'm, I'm making it. My, uh, family had some big events, uh, which is why I was in Birmingham. Also got to see my boyfriend. Lovely time, and immediately after this podcast, I'm going right to bed. <laughs> okay, that's that's pretty elite. That's some good stuff. That's, that's pretty early for you, Chandler. Aren't you more of a night owl? I mean, I used to be. Certainly, like, freshman year, I, I was. But now I have uh, grown to the ripe old age of 22, and I can't do such things anymore. Owls are also known for going to bed early on their uh, migrations, so that's something to keep in mind as well. Do owls migrate? I don't. I don't think so. <laughs> I, you know, if I, I don't. I, I don't have anything to base that off of. But if I'm gonna bet on it, I'm gonna bet no, they don't. I feel like they're just too, like, I don't know. Maybe maybe this is <laughs> maybe this is birdist in some way, but I feel like they're too big. Like, if you're going to migrate, you got to be, like, lean. Yeah, that's a good point. At the same time, though, there's, like, some species of albatross that spends basically zero time on the ground. They just fly over the ocean for the majority of their lives. And they're huge. I think they're – I can't remember if they're light. Like, probably relative to their size they are. Um, but I don't know if being a tiny bird means you have to – stay in one place but i don't know owls just kind of they have the disposition of like a bird that just wants to chill in one place and steal mice on the side you know yeah i feel like you don't need to move around all over the place to just snatch a few mice every now and again also all right something i don't i don't know if this is just me have y'all been seeing like way more hawks and falcons over the past like year than you have while you were at Tech. I feel like when I was at Tech, I didn't see any, despite the fact that I was definitely outside more. Are you, uh, like, still close to the city and everything? I'm, I'm like, halfway between Atlanta and Marietta. I'm, like, right on the perimeter. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't know. I mean, Atlanta, they say it's the city of trees. So I don't know if it would make ma- that much of a difference if you're leaving like the area, but I, I personally have not noticed an uptick in the amount of birds of prey circling my location. D- Daniel, I, I, I guess I'm slightly closer to the Chattahoochee and like kind of that whole area, so maybe oh, that's, that's true. Like, maybe that's an, maybe that's something. But I mean, they are all over the place. Watch out for your cat. Yeah, I, I don't think I've seen any. I see mostly deer up here. Do you guys have... Oh, Oh, sorry, Daniel. What's up? Do you guys have the three-eyed fish that the Simpsons have, you know, by the uh, power plant? 
Yeah, although they have more than three eyes. So I'll say that. We, we've developed further fish eye technology from just three, I assume, since The Simpsons aired that episode. Yeah, geez, that was over 20 years ago, probably. Um, yeah, there's there's not really, I don't really see many bird-type animals. <laughs> well, are you wearing a What's a, a bird-type animal? <laughs> I was going to say birds, but I was like, hey, you know what, all kinds, I meant to be more broad with that. But I, and then I realized it was already broad enough. And <laughs> right I mean, enough. bird is already a lot of animals. Yeah, yeah. Are bees included in bird-like animals? Uh, you know what? That's why they call it the birds and the bees. You I was going to say, Daniel, he's starting to talk about the birds and the bees here. I don't know if that's uh, entirely <laughs> appropriate. Listen, th- we've gotten much worse on this show, and you know it. Yeah, it's always the someone else that does that kind of thing, huh? <clears throat> True. Anyway, anyone else have any comments on the birds and the bees? Just the acknowledgement that they are, in fact, different beings, fundamentally. Yeah, I agree with Chandler. Um, Before I forget, because everyone, I'm sure, is because you're listening to this podcast wherever you are, but Anchor has transformed, Okay. I, it was probably about a year ago that Spotify bought Anchor, and now they sort of um, completely overhauled it. So the new URL, are you guys ready? So that's a lot. It's So the old URL, anchor.fm slash the dash experience, that'll still work. But the new URL, it gets redirected to the new one, which is podcasters.spotify.com slash pod slash show slash the experience. That's like too too many slashes for me. A lot of stuff yeah. going. You're going jumping through some directories there. <laughs> yeah. So, but again, the old link anchor.fm slash the experience settles that'll get redirected, so you can still use that. But if you're like, if you're someone who wants that 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 new link because reasons, um, or if you're listening, you know, if you're listening on Spotify or, or you know Apple Podcasts or wherever you normally listen, that'll still work, obviously. But uh, the new link. Is technically that if if you're interested. Um, for some reason, the Google Podcast link is not working, and I think someone basically stole our um, RSS feed or did something with it because it's linking to a different experience podcast. So you I'm working RSS feed. Well, like just that's just basically how the podcast gets run through. Wild. It's like stock, I guess. I want to say like it doesn't. It's just a a medium, right? The RSS feed is a medium through Anchor slash Spotify, which is a medium, and then it goes through wherever you listen. It's like there's, like, all these levels. Um, but anyway, I, I'm working on fixing that, if anyone's wondering. Okay. Sure. Thanks for, we'll- for the uh, one singular person that listens to this podcast through Google Podcasts, I'm sure they'll be very grateful when you fix it. I honestly didn't know Google had Google Podcasts. Um, But, Daniel, I'll also drop the new link in the chat for the users so they can access that right down below. Uh, That is podcasts.spotify.com slash pods slash oh, there's one more and then it's the experience, but I don't remember. Dang it, I I, I thought I had it. That's podcasters.spotify.com slash pod slash show slash the experience. Okay. I, I, it feels weird to be in the middle of what is essentially an ad right now. <laughs> it's an ad for the same show. It's an ad for... Yeah, but still. Um, Chandler, what do you have? Do you have, you want to read the ad that I that you provided or, or no? I You know, at, at, at this point, I think we're already going to gain... So much extra revenue from you talking about the very, very long link (laughs) that you just explained that I don't even think it's necessary. I think we can drop that sponsorship. I didn't choose it. I never said you did. It's it's just. (laughs) 
All right, let's let's calm down here. All right, I, I it this is this is what happened. I I don't know. Uh, Spotify is you know revamping things, I guess. As they often are. Now here's I, uh, now all I right. have it up in my browser right now, the uh, link. So yeah, there I you go. A, I have a question for uh, one or both of you. Have you gotten the, apparently? There's some new Spotify update where they've changed the heart icon to like a plus. Um, however, I have updated my app multiple times, like, you know, trying to get this to happen, as well as they've started a new quote unquote DJ feature where like some AI will like talk to you or something as it's playing your songs. I don't know. Something about that. Uh, but I can't get it. My boyfriend keeps like saying, "Hey, you should uh, you should update it. This is cool." And I'm like, "I've tried. It's not there." I haven't gotten that, uh, or it might be on my Spotify. I haven't uh, really looked around for it because I think I get the automatic updates. I I can't I can't go on my phone and also do this at the same time. So I tried to get into Spotify and kind of kick me out of this. So I'd much rather be present for this uh, podcast with uh, Daniel and someone else than just on my measly Spotify. But I'm on the browser right now and I still see a heart. So maybe it's not updated on my browser. I heard there's also, maybe it's the same thing. It's like sort of like a tick scroll, like doom scroll thing that Spotify introduced, which is interesting for like full length songs. I, yeah. I don't understand is, don't playlists already kind of do that? Like, it's like, oh, I'm not interested in this. Skip to the next one. Skip to the next one. I feel like the same kind of, like, I don't know. Unless they just, like, now this would be this would be a bold piece of new technology. Like, do, like, just limit each piece, like, each fragment of a song to, like, 20, 30 seconds. You don't, you don't actually ever get to listen to the full song. Maybe that's how that what they do with Spotify Lite next. They, that it, for anyone who doesn't have premium, just only gets like twenty to thirty seconds. They can only do the TikTok version. Wow, a TikTok version of Spotify. I, I hope TikTok like, dies at some point. We don't. I don't want TikTok Spotify. Listen, I'm trying to pull out the bits here. <laughs> I was, was going Alex, what's wrong with TikTok? I thought you loved it. <laughs> no, I had a, I had, there's a big, in season five, big character arc for me that saw me drift away from TikTok. Uh, I don't, I, I, I don't know. It's, uh, it's like too fast. I guess the hype train is rotting your brains thing, but I definitely noticed, like, I mean, I don't have TikTok, but I'm not going to pretend like I don't access similar kind of stuff on I guess YouTube or Instagram it's all kind of they sort of blended a lot of the or they integrated some of TikTok's features into the other apps and stuff <clears throat> and I, I I can tell a difference with me like just my concentration and all that anecdotally that I'm like oh it, it feels like my brain is fried but maybe that's because you know that's what the articles are saying and I don't know what's you know reality anymore but there was there was like a two or three week period where I had it and it I think I think I was a little more anxious during that period so I was I was not a fan. I mean, it's yeah. Certainly, I don't think that it's a good thing that uh, you know, people's attention spans are are are, are being reduced. If that is, what's, I mean, we, like, I, my my question is, how do you like scientifically like determine attention span? I guess, like, I, I don't know how. Like, I, it certainly feels that way, and like, I, I kind of anecdotally agree that like, I I also very briefly had TikTok for a few days, and like, even in just that short span, I was like, I don't like what this is doing to me. But I'm I'm just interested. How how would you actually like prove that? in some sort of, I don't know, scientific context. I, I don't know how you would, 
how you would observe that other than just I feel bad. <laughs> Daniel, you're a leading expert in this field, right? Could you give us some input? I, I you know, attention span certainly something that uh, people have. No, I don't know. I am not a psychologist. Uh, that's really more of a Chandler kind of a thing. Um, but uh, there must be a way. You know, Chandler, why don't you why don't you look up a, a good peer reviewed study? You know what? Uh, I'll do that. Yeah, I'll pull that up, Jamie. Why? Uh, <laughs> I TikTok is ruining people's lives. I don't know. Here we go. We've got uh, this is an article by Ping Sha, and I'm not going to attempt to pronounce that name. Uh, structural equation modeling was established, and SPSS Amos was used for analysis. Cool. Uh. Apparently, yes, it does seem to increase depression and anxiety. Attention should also be given to male students who have uh, something, something, something. Male students tend to have more memory loss, apparently, from using a lot of TikTok. According to this study. And that's literally all we need. Um, it confirmed my views, so it's correct. <laughs> that's, that's it. The jury data <laughs> The first thing you look for is always right. Yeah. I always, I always think it's funny when people are like, cite your sources as if I use more than one. Like, all right, let's come on. Come on. Like a singular source, the one yeah. news article you read five years ago. Skimmed. Man, my, my, my fried brain, I can't even read. Just kidding. I've been trying to get back into reading. I'm trying to read, like, you know, very, like, simple stuff, trying to, like, but it's it's so hard. E even, e e e like, even when I'm, like, actively trying to make an effort to, like, read more, it's, like, I, 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 I sit down for, like, 20 minutes, and eventually I'm just, like, I want to get back on my phone again because words are hard. <laughs> I can totally relate. But it's gotten better, though. I, I I will say it's slowly but surely I am fixing my brain. Although I think probably the best way to fix everyone's brain is just everyone throw your phone into the ocean. I I think about that sometimes. Like, what if I just put it in water, but then didn't put it in rice? You know. Like yep. there, I, I had no rice, and it just it didn't work its magical absorption properties, and my phone died. Like how bad that would would that be? There's probably some. I mean, I, it, I, it's definitely good for some things, but part of me is just you know, like the part of you that wants to move to a log cabin in the woods. Exactly, it's, it's like that. That's the that thing. The desire to just disappear for a while. I would like. Here's the thing, right? I don't, I don't want to just, like, evaporate from society, but it seems like it would be at least a little bit beneficial to just, like, I don't know, go be a fire wash for, like, three months and then come back and, like, achieve enlightenment or something. Exactly. Yeah. It's kind of like that. Permanent. Yeah. What if? Uh, Daniel, I think well, this is something that Chandler brought up and I think is kind of relevant to – Something we sort of briefly mentioned, uh, uh, people being evaporated from society. I think you could give us some input on who you'd like to see evaporated from society more with your um, guests of the podcast tier list. I'd love to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Find the bottom of the uh, tier list. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah. well, uh, hang on. First, I, I, I would assume that the bottom of the tier list is – you would like them to be evaporated from society. Should we, should we do that? Should we make a tier, uh, one of the tier, what is it called? Tier maker? Tier dreamer? Tier whatever. Website. Just look it up. The website will. Yeah, whatever. Website. Should we do that for a podcast guest? <laughs> yeah. Just a live, ep like a episode, a video episode. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Have y'all been, and now here's something. Have y'all been getting those, like, if, you know, if I'm, you know, d- you know, n- <laughs> frying my brain briefly and getting on, in, you know, Instagram or YouTube, whatever, anywhere where it has, like, uh, like some TikTok-esque uh, technology going on, do you get those videos of, like, the AI-generated voices of, like, Donald Trump and Joe Biden, like, playing Minecraft? You yeah. know what I'm talking about? Am I yeah, crazy? No, I, 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 I was, they're really funny. I, I was watching one today where it's, like, Obama, Joe Biden, and Trump creating a rap album's tier list, and it was really oh. funny. <laughs> but, yeah, I... Now, I, this big TikTok content, right? It, it it very much is uh, lends itself towards being short form video because the thing is that <laughs> the joke usually isn't that fun it, it, it isn't funny enough to last more than like thirty seconds before like it's time to move on to something else you know what I mean yeah that's a good point although I've I've watched a few of those and it's like it would be as if regular people are playing it. And they get, like, you know, like, decent humor or whatever. But the fact that it's them saying it just makes it, you know, five times funnier. It's just recent presidents of the United States. I think I think another thing is, like, because they – because they're all – it's like it, it's like it's like theater. It's like pantomime. Like, we know what these characters would – you know, what these caricatures we've made of these people would say in our heads in these situations. And they, like, ax them out. So that's very funny. Yeah, exactly. Um, which uh, which president would you guys like most like to play video games with? Out of all of them, or out of just like those three? Uh, let's. How about those three, and then, or I don't know, four, or whatever. But you, can, you can throw like Bush in there or something, and then everybody. I think. I think Obama would probably be the best in terms of, like, if I actually wanted to win the video game. But in terms of most entertaining, I mean, you got to say Trump, right? You just want to see what kind of bullshit this dude gets into. Yeah, I, he seems like he thrives in, like, a 2009 Xbox Live environment. <laughs> exactly. In, in, in every <laughs> sense of that, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I think that's a good choice. Yeah, probably. <clears throat> I think it'd be fun to play with Obama. Um, and then I think it would it'd probably be pretty fun to play with also an old-timey president like George Washington or something like that, John Adams, those guys, just because it'd be – I don't even know for the video game aspect, <laughs> more for just like, – the to up to speed with – the current Apex Legends meta. I don't know. A strategy or based game, you could do like a Ulysses S. Grant, you know? Oh, that's true. Or even a Harry Truman, you know, something like that. Oh, Dwight Eisenhower would be good. He, uh, he's the yeah. European. Yeah. A There's a lot of guys who are generals. Uh, who would, who would be best at Minecraft? Minecraft? I think, like, uh, like I don't know if any... Have any presidents been engineers? I feel like... Surely at least one of them. I don't know. Doesn't Jimmy Carter, like, still build houses? Yeah, I guess he does, like, Habitat for Humanity stuff. Although, wait. He's... He, he, he didn't die yet, right? But he's... No, he's not dead yet. Okay, well, I'm okay. going to double-check that, actually. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if the Wikipedia people have put in was yet. No, Jimmy Carter. No. You heard it here first, folks. Jimmy Carter is alive. He's he is still kicking um, at ninety eight years old. God damn. Um, I used the wrong form of there today. That was pretty embarrassing. Oof. Rookie mistake. I know. So so Carter did study a little engineering. Um. Lieutenant in the Navy. 
Yeah, but he started engineering before he went to the to the Naval Academy. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's. You got some like teacher profess. So I, I would think it would be Jimmy Carter. I think that I was looking through the list, and I think I think it's Carter. I mean, uh, maybe Lincoln. Yeah. I'm just looking up engineer presidents. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't think that. I feel like military would probably be because you see a lot of lawyers, of course, um, like that sort of thing. I feel like business or not business, excuse me, like military people might be a little more adjacent and just like logistics or something. Um, if you're looking to conquer land. Kind of that yeah, sort of definitely thing. that. Andrew All right. Jackson, so, for that? It's kind of like operating a business a little bit. I've gotten I've gotten info on. So Herbert Hoover is the only president who worked as an engineer. Uh, according to oh. homework.study.com, but according to Cora, Jimmy Carter qualified as a nuclear power engineer. You would know something about this, Daniel, and uh, the submarine service. <laughs> oh, that was, yeah, that's in the Navy. It's different. Let's Oof. see. Uh, okay, yeah. I just, you, uh, uh, on, on her, wait, no, hang, hang on, Daniel. You you go first, and then I'll I'll, I'll speak. Oh, all I'm saying is he did do. Looks like he did do some nuclear stuff in in, in the navy. That's it. Go ahead, Alex. All right. Uh, well, what I did was I looked at Herbert Hoover as he brought him up, Chandler, and I'm on. I think it's list of presidents of the United States by previous experience Wikipedia page. And Herbert Hoover, you know what he has? Businessman and mining engineer. Wow. I don't. I don't even think you could get better than that. And I, I'm cl- I'm on Herbert Hoover's uh, uh, Wikipedia article here. It looks like his dad was a blacksmith. He rapid. He was one of the first graduates of New Stanford University. He took a position with a mining company and rapidly became a wealthy mining engineer. I mean, I don't know if you could get. I mean, it's literally in the name. It's called Minecraft. I don't know if you could do better than a mining engineer. That's yeah. No, that's 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 just about perfect. Although I don't know if practical real world mining skills would translate to uh, would translate as well to Minecraft, but certainly better than uh, probably better than most other presidents who just. Are old and <laughs> that's true. Yeah, I mean, I they, they mining engineering probably isn't all about swinging a pickaxe and that sort of thing. Yeah. I, I, you know, probably. Well, you said he works as a blacksmith, right? I think that was his. It looks like it was his dad. Oh, okay. Here on the Experience Podcast, where we discuss birds and. Dead presidents. Hey, some of them have been alive. You are correct, Daniel, in that some presidents are alive. Statistically, oh, I mean, most of them are dead as well, so it's okay. <laughs> That's true. That'll never catch up. Yeah, I don't think. I don't think so. Well, unless we get some crazy anti-aging science going on. Yeah, or just a ton of young presidents. Yeah, everyone has to be 35. I I will gladly take a 45-year-old president over an 85-year-old president. I bold a bold take. I'm I know. Yeah, I don't I don't know how well that's going to go over, Chandler. <laughs> Most of our audience is over 85, so I don't know. About this, uh, this, uh, I I, I know that so much of this country is just like. We need. We need to get. We need to get a. What do you call it when you go over one hundred years old? Centenarian or something. Centenarian. We need. We need. We need more hundred year olds at at the forefront of this country. I want to live every day not knowing if they're going to keel over or not. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah, we should. We should just airlift those people that currently hold the Guinness record for a person alive and just drop them in the White House and be like, all right, what, what's up? 
What are we doing with the nukes? What are we doing? Uh, skip. Okay, so... Um... Well, we've gone for a bit here. What else do you guys did you guys want to bring up other than presidents and birds and? Um, are they or are they not getting rid of daylight savings time? I don't know. From, Big time. From what I have heard, by skimming news articles, it was a bill in Congress, but it died. It did not go anywhere. So they are not in fact, getting rid of daylight savings. That doesn't mean they won't do it in the future, but for this year, we're still doing it. And we did do it. We already jumped. Unless I'm crazy, and we didn't yet. No, I, I, I physically changed my clocks yesterday. Yeah. So, I may, maybe... Oh, we'll I gotta change. Oh, I gotta change my oven, my microwave right now. We're, we're live on camera, folks. I am changing my clock. Oh, God, how do I do this? Ah. Daylight savings in action, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoy the beeping noises of my of of my oven. Push. Here we go. Hey, you can you can hear it. No, good. <laughs> I'm sure Man. this is great for the listeners. I uh. No, it's great for the listeners. <laughs> if, you, if you guys go to tiermaker.com, kind of the website we were talking about, the yep. tier list thing, and you can go to slash create slash female cartoon hotties. <laughs> oh, God. They've got, I mean, it's like a gigantic list. There's got to be close to like 100, 200 people here. There's flow from cars. So I don't oh. see Sally, though. <laughs> I don't. I mean that that I got it. That's just a little bit too much dedication. I'm going to be honest. That's <laughs> that's that's unfortunate. It's a lot of freaking people, right? And cars as well. A lot of beings. I mean, I I'm much more of a like breakfast cereal tier list kind of guy. Which yeah, 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 yeah. The best. Breakfast cereal, bar none, is Raisin Bran. Ooh. And I, and I will defend that to the death. Hey, if you need some more troops in your army, Chandler, sign me up, okay? I, I, I just... I, but it's got to be the name brand, Raisin Bran. Because if you get the off-brand Raisin Bran... It's not as good. It all crumbles. It gets super soft, super quick. It's got to be the real thing. I am a am I I am a raisin bran devotee. Not too sweet. Plenty of fiber. Raisins are great. Just ten out of ten. Yeah. What about you, Daniel? What's your favorite breakfast cereal? Um, you know, I don't really favorite. I mean, what are we talking about here? Like, cause cause I don't like. What do I eat normally? Because I we're, think there's we're, a... we're talking like from from a utilitarian standpoint, which which cereal gives you the most joy? Yeah, because well, because what I'm getting at is like there's that, but then like you're not going to eat that every day necessarily, right? Because inherently, cereal is mostly junk. I I don't completely agree with that notion. Well, here's all right. So like. Sure, I'm, you know, if I was to eat, like, cinnamon toast like, crunch or, like, tricks every single well, day, that would be pretty bad. I think Raisin Bran, I mean, if you look at the nutrition tracks, you can see that it's, at a bare minimum, not nearly as bad as uh, some other cereals out there in terms of it's nutrition. Oreos cereal. It's, it's just Oreos as a cereal. Yeah, like it's you are you are eating cookies and milk for breakfast, which you know what to each their own. That's fine, but you certainly can't argue that it's nutritionally complete. 
I gotta I gotta look up because I whenever I go to Walmart I, I just have to look because some of them are ridiculous and I send them to Owen. So let me see if I have pictures of them. Honey bunches of oats and special K are up there as well. I like me some special K. I like honey bunches. That's a that's a good input. Yep. Oh, oh. Wendy's Frosty cereal. <laughs> Whoa. Wendy's Frosty cereal. Just go to Wendy's and get a... Do they sell Frosties in the morning? Probably. I hope not. No. Uh, <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> I know you can get ice cream from McDonald's, at least the one, uh, you know, not because I've gotten ice cream from McDonald's, but because I've gotten <laughs> breakfast from McDonald's and I see it on the app. They're still selling the ice cream. Are you still investigating, Daniel? Uh, you know, well, the Frosty is the, I think the most ridiculous one. Wendy's Frosty, sir. Where the hell did you find that? In, in Walmart here. Like, I, I just, it was there. It's not even hard to find these types of cereals. Just whenever you have a chance, go to, go to a, a large, uh, retail store or, you know, food retail and, uh, peruse the cereal section. You'll find some, some crazy things. I, Right now, could DoorDash to my location a box of Wendy's Frosty Breakfast Cereal for $6.29, plus all of the fees, of course, which means actually you're paying like 20 bucks. <laughs> yeah, the DoorDash fees get out of hand quick. On one hand, I get it because how else are you going to, you know, pay your workers, which are definitely not employees, uh, anything at all, unless you charge an exorbitant amount for it. But also, come on. <laughs> yeah. Mm-mm. It's like I, I used to DoorDash so much, and then I realized that, like, unless I am willing to pay literally double of what I would be paying if I just drove over there myself. So, unless I am either exceptionally sick or exceptionally lazy, I do not DoorDash anymore. That's a good strat. I think uh, I think food is one of the easiest things to overspend on because you can get it from the grocery store. And I like to think that I mostly reserve going out to eat for, I guess the the really lazy times in my life, but then also just like social things. So I try to I try to keep it at a minimum, but it, yeah. That's my two cents there. Yeah. I mean, you know, probably about, call it once a week, there's this really good Thai place down the road. And, I mean, that's just like, I mean, Friday night, if you don't have any leftovers, you know, a $10 box of pad Thai that will last you two days ain't exactly going to break the bank. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. It's a good good point. All right, well, we're good here. <laughs> <laughs> we are good. Thanks, Daniel. I, I appreciate that. We 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 finished up the, the serial talk and and uh, and everything in between. Um, the, uh, guest know. tier list. I can't wait to see that updated one. We'll have the guest tier list available when I decide to make it available and when I decide <laughs> to do it. Yes. Um, okay. it'll, it'll, it'll be the links under each episode from now on, so you can see it like, <laughs> as it updates over time. Yeah. And Are actually, gonna... in 10 weeks approximately, there will be a vote, and whoever, uh, um, you know, all you viewers out there uh, decide to vote off of the show will never be uh, on the Experience Podcast again. And in fact, we will go back and delete the videos, uh, the, the episodes where uh, they were... Um, uh, featured before we should we should do that who do you not want on the podcast anymore it's just a lot of change <laughs> with that. So, have you ever can't... actually gotten negative feedback i mean you don't have to say who it is but have you ever actually gotten someone to be like why did you have this person on your podcast you're insane um no the, the quick answer is no Nothing that direct. 
I don't think I've had any negative feedback about any guests. I, I, and personally, I haven't felt negatively about any guests that I've had on. You know, there have been some, some, some that are like friends of friends who have like come on and it's kind of, you know, it's maybe not the best, but it's generally, it's not like negative. I, I'd never say it was negative. That's good. That's very good to hear. That's a USDA, uh, whatever the highest USDA beef. That's the type of host, the highest one. That's the type of host you are, Daniel. Exactly. 